welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour on this lovely 40 by 40 canvas. I have um, put masking tape on the back of my canvas and push pins, and this is to keep your bottom from getting dirty. So it really does save the bottom from looking like as rough as as rough as guts as my husband would call it so and the push pins are giant push pins from stationery stores or there is a link in my amazon or online shop below rightio i'm um going to do i'm trying to do a fern effect for my bathroom i'd like a fern effect on the canvas for my bathroom so I've got an idea and whether it will work is a whole different story isn't it <laughs> as it usually is so I think I'm going to just put a bit of white down as my base coat not too much at all um, and just smooth it in the white that I put in is just my exactly the same mix that I do um, all of these uh, paints ready for acrylic pouring and the information is in the drop down box underneath this video so it's just acrylic paint with my pouring medium so it's not a very thick or um, fancy layer and I do not have to normally coat my canvases because they are uh, pre-gessoed but this is just so my design that I have in mind will hopefully slip over the paints nicely. Never ends up how the dream is in my head, but you've got to try it, haven't you? So that's just the white base coat. Now I'm going to do a really nice bright yellow. Oh, that came out. A, a whopper. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put some of my champagne gold in with that yellow which is 50% um, metallic gold, 50% silver. Gives you a really nice metallic colour and look what I've done. I've got goobies over my duva. Never mind. Oh, just stick your finger in. It's fine. Rightio. I just give that a little heat with a heat gun. Let's see if this is going to work. I just want to blow this bit off at first. I might do a few of these. absolutely fine so so going to plan it funny how that gold has turned it into a sort of green there but that's okay no problem radio I will put a fair bit more of white maybe I should have a little bit thinner because I do want my paint to blow over this my fern leaves as I'm going to try to create. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the sides at this point because I can always do those at the end when I see what they look like or if they even need correcting. I think I need a little bit. Um, just trying to look for it. I, think I need a little bit more paint in this for it to blow over nicely. Even if the paint looks a bit chunky when you look at it like this, it usually absorbs into the canvas quite nicely and um, doesn't look chunky. And even if it does, it's texture. So it's not a problem, not a problem at all. Rightio. I will put 
put some white here. I'm gonna go, this is the uh, cool green or the very dark moss green and it did have a bit of got metallic gold in it so it's given it um, kind of like a, a shimmery effect. So, hmm, let's see if I can get this to look like ferns. That'd be interesting. And I've actually got, this was white again with the same color mixed in it. So it's just a, um, lighter version like a moss green it's quite nice uh, i'm gonna see how i go with that i might just add a little bit of that where it is gold 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 See how this goes. I'm not sure. Radio. If it doesn't, don't stress. It's only paint. You can easily go back over it. Um, I could scrape it off because it's not that much paint, so I wouldn't stress over it. And you just try again. So let's go for gold, go for gold, okay. super duper oh my goodness that's very nice i like it i just define that a bit i think when this is dry i would put some black dots in it um i think it may be too wet to do it at this point but we can give it a little go to show you so this is just a bit of black paint i think it's black and then I think it's going to look better done when it's dry to look like the seeds. But I'll just do that corner and we'll see the difference. It looks from wet to dry finishing off. But that is just gorgeous. It's definitely a nice ferny look, I think. I don't want to do too much more to that. I might just feather a little bit more out with this straw. probably saying don't do not bring your balloon in Jilly but remember my art my rules my way so I might just do a defining little bit of editing down here don't quite like that there and you can always do some little floaty ones 
actually like the dark green, so... Oh, look at that. How, what a wonderful effect that gives. Rightio, I'm gonna let this dry. I'll just finish off my edges by finger popping the edges, which is absolutely acceptable. Just finish it off with your finger. It is gorgeous, actually. Oh, my whole thing wants to... You can either have it on a diagonal like that. I've got a frame there, like a little timber frame. I'm, I think it's going to look lovely in. Just very simply stick. I'm really happy with that. So what do you guys think? Is it a yay or is it a nay? I think it looks very pleasant. It does look ferny like, like I said, when it's dry, I could add some detail in it. Uh, you know, like a vein through the fern, ferny leaf. But remember, it's abstract, so um, it can be exactly as it is. I think it's really fresh looking. Like, like I said, it was for my bathroom, but you know, may sell it, who knows. All right, my lovelies. Um, please stay healthy, safe and happy. If you're feeling sad, lonely or a little bit depressed, please, please ring a family member or a friend or certainly a helpline. Do not suffer in silence. Always someone there to help you out. So my lovelies, take care. Until tomorrow, bye for now.